Hi everyone, I'm Paige Abbott and this is your weekly recovery message on the difference between powerlessness and helplessness. Powerlessness is definitely not helplessness. Helplessness is when we feel victimized, we feel like the world is happening to us and we have absolutely no accountability or responsibility or role in what's happening around us and again we feel like things are happening to us. Often when we're in helplessness we feel despair, sad, despondent, apathetic, hopeless because we truly feel we no longer have agency in our own lives. A lot of people confuse and mistake that powerlessness is the same thing. And so when they come to the 12-step program and see the word powerlessness in the very first step, that can be very off-putting for people. And it's important to clarify that what powerlessness actually means is that we do all need to accept as human beings that there are certain things, other people, and situations that we truly don't have control over. So powerlessness is more that honest recognition of knowing where we do have some responsibility, accountability, and the need for action, and the areas where we need to let go. So with the area of addiction, what powerlessness is referring to is it's essential to understand that because addiction is a brain disease, there will always be times where your brain is acting up and sending you false information, distorting your perception of reality, maybe throwing out cravings, that this is the activity of the disease. And this is not something that you do have any power or control over. You can't control the disease, you can't shut it down, and no matter how far along you are in recovery, and no matter how much you know, there will always be activity and flare-up of the disease. That's just the nature of a chronic relapsing remitting disease is that it's never entirely gone or quiet. So powerlessness, again, is recognizing that you don't have the ability to stop those flare-ups. However, you do have responsibility and accountability to yourself to keep pursuing recovery and to keep pursuing abstinence or restraint from problematic behaviors and substances. So with powerlessness, there's still the need to act, there's still the need to participate in our own lives, but again we have to recognize where to put our energy rather than trying to control or influence something that's beyond our control or influence. Powerlessness versus helplessness. It's a very popular topic. It's something that comes up commonly in individual as well as group therapy. And I hope that it's something you'll continue to reflect on for yourself. Even if you feel you've come to a place of accepting powerlessness, there's usually always more to explore there. And you may have a feeling or you may come across a situation that exposes and highlights where you still may be fighting for control or where you may get caught in the trap of feeling helpless that there's nothing you can do when in fact I'm sure there's probably lots that you can be doing to look after yourself and move through that situation. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next week. In the meantime, I wish you the best in your ongoing journey of recovery. Bye for now.